Man, those serving girls are frisky. You wanted to get drinks. You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. <laughs> what should I call you? Do you prefer creme or cremesius? Creme's faster. The chief's nicknames usually end up sticking. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the cum. They ever wear shirts under the cune, Chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. When did you know? Did you always know? Yes. It's not the most fortunate thing to know about yourself growing up in Tevinter, one rung above slavery. In Kunadar, Krem would be an Akunathlak. That's what we call someone born one gender, but living like another. And Kunari don't treat those... Akun people any differently than a real man. They are real men. Just like you are. Maybe your people aren't so bad after all. Don't get your hopes up, Krem. We still come down hard on the back talk. <laughs> anyway, here's the rest of the charges. Or what's left of the rest. A lot of them went looking for stronger drinks. We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. Uh, where are you from, Rocky? Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar. I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. Yeah, you really don't. <laughs> I just like the idea of all dwarves are like, we're here to figure this out. No, you're not. We're figuring it out. No, you're not. <laughs> uh, why leave your clan, Dalish? Why aren't you with your clan? Our keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip. Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. <laughs> me sitting there. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Uh, you're a healer, Stitches. I take it you're the company healer. Yes. First time I ever picked up a sword was when the blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. That's because it's a poultice, sir. You're not supposed to drink it. <laughs> how'd you get your Skinner? So, how'd you join the charges? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill Shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. Grim, what's your story? Grim, is it? Hmm. <clears throat> Grim doesn't talk much. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country. Or a chieftain. Something like that. Hmm. <clears throat> This is quite a group. You really take in anyone, don't you? Anyone who can carry their weight in a fight. And who can put up with your bullshit, Chief? No man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know what's happened with those cards and loose your skirts. For everybody battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our horns be pointing up. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team. Oh, I wish we got more of the Chargers. Alas, we don't. Hey, you need me? Uh, tell me of your troop, about your troops. I'd like to hear more about the Chargers. Always happy to talk about my guys. 
What do you want to know? Uh, how did you start? How did you start the group? It's easy to make a name for yourself as a merc when you're a head taller than most folks. I spent a year or two working for Fisher's Bleeders, but their captain was crap. Figured I could do better. The best folks in the Bleeders agreed with me, so we split off. What about Fisher? I imagine Fisher disagreed. <laughs> he came at me. I snapped his sword in half, and we talked things out over drinks. He must have crazy stories. What are the craziest jobs you've ever taken? Besides this one? <laughs> There's a lot of violence between the nobles here, but that's standard work. The fun stuff is when they party. They always want to impress each other, and that means getting something shiny. We've hunted wyverns, fought through caves to find some old magical crap. Even when giant baiting was. Giant baiting? What's giant baiting? So this old guy, Comte Van Chess, has some kind of a pageant planned. But he needs a giant, which is off in some damn cave. He's got some kind of rare charm to control the giant. But no way he's going into that cave himself. So we go in, kill some spiders, find the giant, and wake it up. It attacks us because of course it does. And we let the big bastard chase us outside where Van Chess is waiting. You let it chase you? That was actually your plan, to let a giant chase you? Yeah, we had to stay out of reach, but close enough that it wouldn't give up. It was tricky. Good news is the giants are slow. Long as my guys ahead could clear out the spiders, we were fine. Bad news is the giant spider webs slow you down a bit more than you think. But at least Comte Van Chess got his giants for the pageant. Eh, uh, turned out that charm was a phony. Oh. Giant ate the poor guy alive. It's okay, though. We still got paid. Oh, <laughs> your group is diverse. You have people from plenty of different backgrounds in your group. Yes, well, when you're in Orlais and you look like me, you can't be picky about who you take in. A lot of them got turned away from other companies that didn't want a knife here, or a crazy dwarf. Their loss. You get my back in a fight and carry your own weight, you're good with me. Tell me about Krem. I'd like to know more about Krem. He's a good soldier, and a better second in command. The troops need someone to complain to when I'm being a hard ass. He's good for that. Uh, but you hate to enter. You don't have a problem with him being from Tevinter? Nah. But you hate the Vince. Sure, but he's not a Vint. He's just Krem. I can get worked up about a group or a nation just fine, but people... It's too much work to hate them one by one. Okay, bye. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. Krem! Inquisitor? Uh, tell me about the Chargers. Can we talk about the bull's charges? Certainly. What can I tell you? Uh, okay. Never mind. We'll talk later. In just Inquisitor? How can we use you? Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the charges? Nothing jumps out at me. If I come up with any ideas, I'll let you know. Uh, tell me about yourself. I wanted to talk about you, if that's all right. You know, I'm from Tevinter. Wasn't a slave, but even citizens have it rough if they're not majors. I was a soldier. Women joined the ranks under a different program. When they found out I was passing, it got ugly. I ran, met Ball near the border, and ended up here. Not a life I'd wish on everyone, but it'll do. How'd you end up leaving? You said you left Tevinter when they discovered your secret. Women are allowed to serve, but only in certain ranks and disciplines. I was up for promotion, but the healer I'd bribed to sign off on my physical had to turn to a sick magister. When the replacement healer saw what was or wasn't in my paths, he made threats. It was slavery or death, so I knocked him out and ran. Uh, doo -doo -doo. How'd you get away? I'm surprised you escaped from the Tevinter Imperium so easily. It's not like I lived in Minrathas. I was in Trevis, not far from the Navarran border. It helped that I was being chased as a deserter, not a runaway slave. Slave hunters only get paid for what they catch. They're efficient bastards. Uh, passing is illegal? It's against the law to pass as a man. It's a crime to lie on an imperial application for service. Would have been a heavy fine or slavery. For ten silvers, the healer said he'd tell the tribune I was sick in the head. Some pity for the mad little girl. That was when I hit him. I'd served for a few years, 
I was good at hitting. Uh, what is Tevinter life like? What's Tevinter like for a citizen? Someone who isn't a slave or a mage? I'm of the Separati. Citizens who aren't mages. Mages are in charge and everyone knows it. But a wealthy merchant can have an easy life. At the low end, people just try to stay out of slavery. My father was a tailor. I joined the army after the Imperial slaves drove him under. How did you do that? How did slaves drive your family out of business? My father made shirts, aprons, that kind of thing. Nothing fancy. One of the magisters had a pet project. To prevent the poor from dying of cold in the winter. Nice, right? He had Imperial slaves making simple peasant clothes and selling them for almost nothing. That magister's nice idea put out slave-made clothes at prices my father couldn't match. Slave labor. Lovely. It's difficult to compete with someone who doesn't get paid. That's Tevinter. My father sold himself into slavery. He's one of the service publicists. The Imperium owns slaves now. Why do you pass? Why did you decide to live as a man? I didn't decide anything. I've been like this my whole life. My parents wanted me to marry up. They tried to find me a nice merchant's son. Every day, put on a dress, look into my father's shaving mirror, and just hate myself. What did your family think? How did your family react when you started? My mother wanted to throw me out. She said if I didn't marry well, I was dooming the family to slavery. She was happy to take the money I set as a soldier, though. Not that it mattered in the end. My father. When I was little, he'd angle his mirror down so I could pretend to shave, just like him. He never said anything, but I think he knew. Would you change with magic? If you had the chance to use magic, would you change all the way? What? No. I don't want any magic like that within ten yards of my body. When I was younger... Ah, oh, I don't know. Everyone has silly dreams. In Deventer, dreams like that get you killed. But will help me make a good life. Nice armor and a well-placed sock, and I'm happy. Okay, bye. We'll talk later. I love you, Cram. You're amazing. Oh, wait, I need to head up. Stay, don't crash. Please don't crash. Um, because I still need to talk to Sarah and Cole. Because apparently everyone has cutscenes now. Actually, I don't think I've talked to Sarah in her room yet. Hey, you. I have an Inquisitor favor to ask. Just a little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? Yeah, I'm listening. All right, let's hear what you've got. Jump right in, huh? I like that. It's a red Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vershell. Land squabble. They're getting little people beat up. So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through. Just walk through. Easy, right? Who told you about this? Was this a tip from one of your friends? Not a Jenny. Just normal, angry people getting sick of being in the middle. I don't usually hear about things this far away. But having a friend like you is like getting really big ears. Bigger than normal, I guess, because we both... Never mind. Who would be... Who would I be working for? Who's asking for this? I'm asking, because I heard people complaining. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through... The people up top feel threatened, too. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. Uh, what's in it for me? What does the Inquisition get out of this? Nobles think everyone is out to get them. So when your helmets march through, both sides will think the other's your ally. Both get scared, both make deals. Worst case, you get a little bump among the people just because they see you active. Can't promise anything, but something will happen. Just like always. I'll have people look at, take a look. All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. Uh, oh. Demon armies and wardens, and Varric has exactly who we need. The big talker just knows everything. Uh, do Okay, you're done. Carry on. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. Do do. Have I clicked that book? So used to running past it. Uh, Sarah's Cabinet of Wonders. What Who's it? What? 
Deliver. Levered. One cabinet suitable for a lady's curiosities. If resources should be spent on such things. Sir Morris. Below. A common journal entries by Sarah. Also, doodle Sarah with her tongue out. Eat it, Morris. Sarah stuff needs a place. Stuff. Banner. Circle. Soft. Lizard. Stretched out. Rough and weird. Holla. Fake. Real ones stink. Cards. Little words. Goblet. Fancy cup. Cup. Shit. Goblet. <laughs> Puddled. Warden. Strong. Bottle. To vintage. Piss weak. Stupid sword. There's a small blood stain. Uh, silk bolts, not arrow bolts. Soft. Make something. I think that's Minstrel Maiden is chatting me up. The song is creepy. You hear the news? You know what it was? Yes. Just rumors. Okay. Good. Ah, let me get upstairs. Let me get upstairs. Okay, good. <laughs> Book. Way of the Assassin. From. Okay. From our. From of granting oh, death, blades and other. I suppose you're right. Other means. Heirs' words make one passage stand out. You misunderstand the point of secrecy. Of course, they know knew that I was there. One of their numbers was dead. It is never the aim that they are ignorant to my purpose or presence. Death is, after all, message, and messages are meant to be received. It is paramount that the arrival remains secret, not the result. They know what may come, but never when, until the answer is now, and there is naught they can do but receive. A treatise on cutting edges and other deliberating the elements follow. He was their enemy the whole time, but she made him forget, so he could change. Let's discuss Templars. I'd like to talk with you about Templars. They're heavy with forgotten songs, like Varric. Some of them are too loud. It's hard to stay near them. Cullen is softer, but demons asked questions that hurt him. Evangeline was kinder. I want to explain, but I... Reese's mother spoke to spirits, but not to him. Then she died for a Templar he loved. Words just bounce off the edges. Um, what do you think of them? What's your general opinion of Templars? Some like hurting mages. It makes them happy, or less afraid, or dreams again. Woke up shaking, stalking the ground for one who looks like her. Always some rule being broken. But not all Templars listen when whispers crawl around inside them. They try to protect people, like Cullen. The good ones remember that mages are people. Explain how Templars feel. Can you tell me more about how the Templars feel to you? They feel older than they look. They've been changed and their bodies are incomplete now. Valyrium helps, but their bodies always want to connect to something older, bigger than they are. That's why they block magic. They reach for that other thing and magic has no room to come in. Like when I listen to Varric. Uh, what about Red Templars? Can you tell me more about how the Red Templars are different? The Red Lyrium is different, darker, daggers under the skin. It eats you inside until you're nothing. They hear a different song. The song behind the door old whispers want opened. They are dead and dark and done. Uh, okay. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? Because I'm going to click you right now. She hurts, but helping hurts more. She sees the strings that pull me, eyes like raisins in a stale cookie. Uh, let's discuss the Inquisition. I'd like to talk with you about the Inquisition. I don't understand it. People talk like it's a person, but it's not even a thing. A dagger can be a way to let pain out, but even if it isn't, it's still a dagger. The Inquisition isn't real unless it has something real to make it. It's like a spirit. Okay. Uh, talk about how you think. Can you explain how your mind works? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I was like, well, I was expecting It's like, can you explain how anyone's mind works? Or just like some long thing. It's just, yes.